Hello, friends. Um, all of that. I'm um, the second of our um, you know, artist features, and I really don't like the label myself. So, this is a brief intro, but for you to get to know me, and I hope to get to know you also. And so I started as an artist. At the end of the day, um, I was a painter, like abstract art, political statement, voice in the second run. Um, had both bullies in New York, etc. There's almost me pretty well as a traditional artist, but that wasn't enough. And I um, always believed that technology is fast forward and huge is our responsibility. And I decided to take it. And I guess the closest thing we can see is maybe um, the I believe the most was blockchain technology because I already bought Bitcoin. Um, hey, Darwin and purchases. Um, and um, back in 2018, I got in the space full time and I started with the drop of NFTs. 13 drops for me putting items. I guess it was the first job in the history of the space. It did okay. This is a way um, that was pretty interesting. Back in that day, I mean, I was like in South Africa and hey, I try to explain to people what it is and not that you buy that. But fast forward in 2020, but not the kid. And um, more and more people became interested, right? That's my um, second job ever in the gateway. Um, I was one of their early people who came on board and by the startup and I designed the job. Um, I mean, it was scarcity in mind and all of those fun things. Um, you think maybe I am the person to blame Many of them is super toxic, but oh, rubber. Um, also, I started exploring the metaverse of digital spaces pretty early on. This is Sandbox, um, so for time frame. Um, I guess I've always been interested in political art, I've always been interested in movements that the public humanity to forward, and this is in support of what I was So, I always uh, made a game in Sandbox metaverse. Um, yeah, this is um, early crypto artworks that later on in a museum in Grutale in Austria. That was a great experience. Um, this is the NFC, the very first IG that was sold at the International Art Fair or Boston's Good Point in early 2021. So that was mine, which is pretty great. I moved white. Um, that's one, that's five. Yeah. All right. Um, yep. That was Time Magazine 2021. Um, that is, um, in the end, my progress space is um, in support of Ukrainian resistance. And um, yeah, I wear my Russian passport in front of Russian consulate. That ended me. Um, I ended up in the blacklist and um, I'm usually a criminal, but I, um, I think something I believe in. Um, that's it, that's yeah, that is what show. Um, or which I developed to walk through my course, May 2022, where I explored the concept and design space as a version of your game. So that was the quite great experience. New York or was Nasa Gallery. Um, and he was I'm sure the metaverse I just had. I just had the bunch of virtual spaces over the years. You saw that. Uh oh, no sound, but trust me, there is sound. The place. Well, that's not the part of this one. Right after you said it, um, what is something else? That's what I want, actually. So my friend who was an architect, he designed these two buildings. They were never built, but it had perfectly the reverse. Right. Well, this is a familiar scene, this is a familiar one. It's one of our set out of trust in the scene. That's the director, and now walking around in uh, a lot of space. Yes. Yeah. Here you look. How can this? Um, that's that's not a um, virtual game for it. Where I build a game on 
move from a game where the character meant to find an exit um, in the main space. Yeah, that was fun. Um, fast forward, AR art. Uh, I've been playing it for quite a while since the first demo came out. Um, yeah, this is dead takes at this point. Fine, fine tuned. Who barracks generated with Dali. And me. In the second one, it was like more weird generation. Um, both sound, movements, all that is the yeah, generating the image itself. Well, I forget it. That's, that's about me. I, I'm not, I'm not really great at in not really introducing myself and talking about myself. I feel a bit boring. I know that already. Um, I came here to talk about the future, to ask you guys questions, to think about what's next, how we're going to go about it. I feel that's what more interesting to me, Jack, as artist, as creator, as thinker. Um, look, I mean, there's all this AI innovation, right, um, that is seemingly happening exponentially at this point. Right, it's every day there's a new article, um, people coming out with like text to speech, crazy stuff like hey, we have lots of investments in medicine, space exploration, material science, which is pretty insane, but it kind of leaves a lot of people questioning what's next for us as humankind. Am I gonna lose my job? A lot of people wondering. And hey, I've been thinking, yeah, I mean, a lot of people will. That's the reality of it, which we kind of um, don't pay much attention to. Hey, there's McKinsey, right? There are consultants, there are real estate agents, and yeah, there are lawyers, there are doctors, and hey, it's so much cheaper to go um, to AI versus a human doctor, for example, and they have better day housing diseases and all that. So, one example. Right, um, and at least a lot of you wondering where am I at this point of life, right? What sense? How am I going to survive? How am I going to create it, right? So, um, and this possibly the economy. Uh, the question is, will we all be poets, right? What, what are you going to do, right? Like, what sucks? And, um, you know, a lot of people have been wondering, questioning, like, why do we metaverse, right? And it's kind of a down trend, seems like, because really, I mean, you really don't. Like, it's, it, I mean, if you go there, yeah, it's cool. But um, I feel with the changing tides, changing world, I feel a bigger space to actually make a living, right? It's a great way to escape reality. I mean, it's a dystopian scenario, of course, so we'll that, but in the beginning, it's going to be uh, probably challenging, right? Um, yeah, and I think that's a plausible reason. And with the emergence of content stacks of speech, um, it's going to be easy to build, it's going to be easy to develop, personalized games, personalized experiences, create ways to really allow people to earn money, to interact in more meaningful ways. So I think that this space has a lot of potential, not just due to economic reasons, but generally, I'm quite believe we're still. But um, nothing means I feel like that are rising um, with that transition to a new way of living, to a new economy. It's a need for new ideology related of some sort, to new set of rules to kind of give people meaning and mystery sign in the right election. I mean, this is a very interesting conversation to which we'll find a cold topic. If you guys think that, I'd love to share more about that. I'd love your opinion on that matter. I feel like not many people have talked about it, but I feel like it's quite essential. It's not all this presenting some screen deck. Okay, I'm going to the guy art here. Cool. Chill. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, it's a very disturbing slide. Um, the added shopping, so the only ones more so we before. It's kind of a dark statement, but if you think about that, it might as well be true, right? Hey, cost of living is a real thing, right? Yeah, I don't think AI will solve it immediately, right? 
and in Z Gen Alpha, I mean, those people are not going to own any in Hammer and put in the longer. It's, um, the, you know, it's kind of like the pyramid scheme in a way, like society operates. So, mm, I'm, I'm, I always like to think about that. Oh, I'm always optimistic, but I always kind of keep refined in a way, right? Um, I don't super know it's a white bubble, but um, looking at the outside world, we talking to real people, we go, oh, God, actually, <laughs> right? And since you guys are here, it's, it's kind of a um, great time and space to think about things like that, not just like how, how can I create more entertaining experiences to go say, well, people are already on top of that, and um, Shabaka Film Festival is happening right now, and they have an official yet category of AI short films. And my prediction is in the next year, year and a half, there will be a 90 minute um, AI film that's going to be actually pretty good. And from there, it's um, content creation streamlined and the celebrity publishers are the same, and visual likeness is people's identity likeness is scanned and put our chain of members. I don't know, that's, that's also kind of a lot of ethical, a lot of logistical questions about that, right? What is going to be look like? What is going to, will the world of entertainment digital realm is going to look like with that um, additional features, right? Digital likeness. Um, a lot of celebrities already being scanned, a lot of actors with Williams, the likeness is scanned, and it's way cheaper to use that to generate AI content that um, create a set and white people and uh, eight millions of dollars. So, um, another big thing I think brain computer interface um, is definitely the future of usual language. Um, yeah, uh, as much as I like headsets, right, and some of them are pretty, I feel to like the newest Apple one. Um, there are two points to um, that exact direction. So um, we'll be more connected to the universal consciousness and that will, which opens a lot of us. I mean, I mean, that's not an immediate future. And it's like more of like 10 15 years forward. But it's also kind of, it, it's something, I think it's incredible to think about that. Um, the level the all connect is and the pace we can learn skills with is just pretty fascinating, but also there's so many questions about that. How we're going to adapt, how we, I don't know, also to ask me, we'll have to discuss it more with you guys. Well, um, to end my presentation, I'm going to note that creation of Bright Summer for the human Christ is constantly, right? There are many scenarios that are token on it, there was token ones, but um, one thing for sure is that technology is going to change everything we knew about our lives for a better course and uh, it's our last thing to turn in a selection. So, thank you very much. Thank you.